Hello everyone! I'm Aurea Gibonites, a junior science high school teacher in Asia at San Mateo National High School, San Mateo Rizal, Philippines. I am also a proud member affiliate and the resources speaker of Asia Pacific Association of Educators Training Institute. I am very glad to share with you my topic which is Speak with confidence. Learn the art of communicating. According to Amber King, are we best in front of our students or best one-on-one? -on -one? We should reflect on how we communicate and let that realization of what we do best guide our teaching. Why is confidence important in teaching? For us educators, confidence can improve our overall effectiveness as well as our well-being. We cannot always depend on others to keep us confident. So we should keep responsible for developing and nurturing our self-confidence. What are the ways to boost confidence as a teacher? 1. Be prepared. In planning, which includes anticipating challenges of particular classes on how we are going to deal with potential situations that may arise. 2. Walk tall. This is standing confidently and body language says a lot. We should not feel scared or unsure to avoid slouch or cover. 3. Your classroom, your rules. Set our classroom rules calmly and confidently. Also demand behavior that you expect from our students for better classroom management. 4. Don't fear criticism. Use it. Feedbacks, whether positive or negative, will help us teachers to build confidence and improve our practices. 5. Steer clear of negative nellies. Though we are facing challenges nowadays because of COVID-19 pandemic, it doesn't help to constantly focus on negative aspects. It is better if we surround ourselves with positive thinkers or people who are trying to be positive in their jobs. 6. Realize your strengths. As teachers, we should also know our strengths which ultimately leads to confidence. Why do we need confidence in the workplace? To be more assertive, do more, and communicate more effectively. See to it that our words and actions have conviction. Engage in challenging and manageable projects. And if we are confident enough, with what we are doing, this will allow us to speak concisely and with clarity. If we can communicate with confidence, we can convey in clear and efficient manner. Thus, effective communication is really important in our career as teachers. Then what is confidence in teaching? The Lexico Dictionary defines confidence as a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So teacher self-confidence will be defined similarly to how it is in an article by Mojavezi, an assistant professor at Islamic Azad University and Tamiz in 2012 
which states that it is the extent to which a teacher is confident enough to his or her ability to promote students' learning. Communication is a science as well as an art. How and why? It was stated that communication can be classified as a combination of both art and science. When looking at science in the form of communication, it can be referred to as the knowledge about the subject and have the facts to prove the information being presented. Art communication can be considered the skillful way of doing. Communication can also be stated as the way people interact with another through signs, language, thoughts, and writings. What does speaking precisely mean? According to Harbhajan Singh Yogi, we are consciously communicating with another person at that person's frequently not yours. Therefore, communication is the human connection. It is also the key to personal and career success. And this is according to Paul J. Mayer. The following are the tips for effective communication by Center for Creative Leadership. Communicate relentlessly, simplify and be direct, listen and encourage input, illustrate through stories, affirm with actions. Effective communication requires more than an exchange of information. When done right, communication fosters understanding, strengthens relationships, improves teamwork, and builds trust and confidence. Learning and speaking English can also boost confidence and develop our personality. What are the gifts of speaking? Remember that speaking is a privilege, not an obligation. If we are given the opportunity to speak, such as a resource speaker and others, grab the chance with humility and do the best we can because being a good speaker is the reflection of our personality. Take note also that not everyone has the talent and skills to be a speaker and we should also speak as a leader in our own field. The following are essentials to help speak with more confidence. 1. Carry yourself with confidence. Maintaining a confident posture will help believe that we are ready and capable to speak. Be prepared. Practice with understanding is also a key to good preparation. Speak clearly and avoid arms. We may ask this question, have we ever watched or hear speeches that would be much more effective if speakers didn't keep on saying ums? This would really affect the entire speech. Don't feel silence with nervous chatter. As much as possible, we should overcome nervousness and visualize it ahead of time. How to speak with confidence? Break the pattern of negative habits. Like, eliminate filler words. These are words that are used to take up space while a speaker tries to figure out what to say next. Like, um, ooh, like, and others. Don't just be loud. Speak without tension. Take note the importance of breathing and posing. Learn to add authority to your speech. Whether we raise or low our voice or pitch, in speaking or asking, this makes sound much more confident, depending on how we deal with it. 
Focus on your audience, not what they think of you. Focus on your message for your audience. Focus on the higher values for your audience. Understand that the speech is for your audience, not you. Speak for your audience, not for you. Establish your credibility and earn their respect. When speaking or presenting, we should appear relaxed, confident, and in control. Deliver message with clarity, brevity, and impact. Command instant trust and respect from the audience and know how to satisfy the needs of our audience. How to overcome fear of public speaking? Take note that content should be easy to understand, relevant to audience, and of the right length. Voice should be controlled properly. If there's tension in breathing or delivering, the audience will be tense also. As a speaker, maintain posture. Our body should be in sync with the message. Make eye contact with the audience. As much as possible, overcome nervousness. And to control, move around and take full abdominal breath. There must be notes to carry a summary of the presentation. Now how to be a superstar speaker? He must be well prepared on his talk with audience connection through eye contact, confident on his talk, can speak clearly, not too fast or too slow, voice should be loud enough to be heard with expression, use also face, hand and body gestures and of course with voice projection. Speaking with confidence is an edge and a big opportunity for effective communication. Being a speaker is a skill and a talent. It is a failure if you cannot express yourself confidently. Though we have the best leaders, writers, listeners, technology savvy, a master in their own fields and others, but we have also to consider other factors. Still, speaking with confidence and learning the art of communicating plays a vital role for effective communication. For us teachers, we can deliver our lessons well, use the art of questioning in our classes genuinely, defend our researches, be it a basic or action research, strategic intervention materials, science investigatory projects, and others. Master of thesis and dissertations with convincing impact and easy manners. Aside from the mastery of content of the subject matters, we teachers should also be well versed in speaking for better delivery, imparting knowledge, and understanding of the lessons to our students. Speaking with confidence is extremely essential for everyone. This increases self-confidence and assists in developing the personality of a person, plays a big role in our life and development of a smart society. It is a necessary way for delivering brilliant ideas and informations which are significant in the growth and improvement not only for ourselves but also for our co-workers, students, the community, and the nation as well. We must be responsible for the greater future and progress of the nation. 
As a whole, we should carry and practice all the characteristics of a confident and superstar speaker because that makes up a good and smart speaker. I want to share this quotation by Albert Einstein. It is the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy in creative expression and knowledge. With that, this is Teacher Aurea G. Bonites saying, Thank you so much to all of you. God bless everyone.